Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video for today I was thinking we could be doing another simple cards and since the Mother's Day is coming up very soon I was thinking these are perfect for that well I guess it can be used for any occasion this one I will also do in real time I will be using this uh, Claire Fontaine watercolor paper it's 300 gsm on 140 pounds cold press paper 100% cotton it is 18 by 24 centimeters that is 7 by 9 and a half inches and I have divided it into a half into two parts but of course if you don't have a cotton watercolor paper or this particular one it doesn't matter you don't have to use the same for cards I usually use Canson watercolor paper uh, Canson Montwald so that is fine if you use that or just any watercolor paper that you have also uh, as I said I've divided it into uh, two parts so I can do two cards if you have one uh, stock of one uh, sheet of paper smaller you can of course use it for one card and the other for the other card you don't have to split your paper into half also I will be using these watercolors from Etcher my watercolors that I made myself also some ink pens that I think I will be using today a little bit thicker one this is 05 and probably this one 01 for a little bit more of the details and shading onto the flowers and also we will be needing a pencil and an eraser and a couple sheets of just regular printing paper if you are comfortable with doing your sketch on your watercolor paper that is fine you can do that but if not you can just do it on a regular printing paper and that is how I will be doing it today on a regular printing paper because I do want the sketch to be visible and I will use quite a dark pencil so you can see it on camera but usually I uh, when I do sketch on just a watercolor paper I use quite light pencils so if you are drawing onto watercolor paper use very light pencil and a couple of brushes uh, I believe I will be using this one for a little bit larger round brush this is a squirrel hair uh, round brush and maybe some detail brush but I will see that later on in the process if that would be necessary so without further ado we can get started so today I will start with a sketch for the first card and it will be something similar to this I will definitely show you how I uh, draw this flower it is a uh, a little bit simpler than maybe looks on a first glance so also when you're using a paper just a regular printing paper for doing your sketch keep in mind how large your paper is so I will just put it here see the size of the paper I'm making my cards so I can just even um, since I'm using a block block of paper I will just uh, do the well fold this one just to know where the how uh, big my paper is and if you don't use a block of paper just do the lines to make to help yourself and just to get the idea how large the paper is so you don't draw your flower too large or too small and I will be placing it somewhere here so just add that elliptical shape one ellipse that is slightly tilted to the left so a lip slightly tilted to the left and then we're going to draw in the center center is going to be in the center just put dot in the center and then draw your uh, center starting on that dot going left just another smaller ellipse same as this one but just a little bit smaller and that is going to be our center then we will move on to painting to drawing this petal this is the larger one petal and starting from here that is one third of this line just start here going to the edge and then doing a wiggly edge and going back again back somewhere again on the third of this line and then we will add one line here to make it look that like this uh, petal is folded slightly inside then moving on to the second one it is starting here where this first one is ending 
just like that going not all the way up and then slightly curve it to the left going upwards a little bit a bigger curve and then going somewhere here that is the center when you do it like this so there's something somewhere in the center of our central ellipse and then I will do again a slight fold to that one also so like this like this to make it look as this one is also folded slightly folded and moving on to the third one this one is going to be here again starting just next to the one we draw here and this one will have a little belly here and going downwards and again a little bit larger belly and when you get to the edge that you drew just go back and start again in the center with the lower line and just do one C curve to that part that you drew like that just a C curve and then inside of it again we will do one C curve on the inwards to make it look as this one is also slightly uh, folded on this side moving on to the next one I'm going to do the upper one here this one and for that one I will start again do the well curved line going upwards to the edge of my ellipse and then going slightly outwards that ellipse doing the curve C curve again and going on one third somewhere that this one ended also this one is on one third on the other side and again we will do a slight fold for that one also that's the fourth one done and we, we have only two more so just go ahead and do one more like that to the edge slightly again curved going downwards curve following that ellipse and going upwards one third like that and when you do that we will do another fold starting at this edge going upwards this one is going to be a little bit more up and then slightly downwards like this so this is the curve for this one and the last one starting again on this one third going downwards and just going like that and fold going upwards like this and that is it we are done with the sketch for our flower it is quite simpler than it may look at a first glance so also here is the center right of our uh, ellipse of our center and we're gonna do one line going downwards that's gonna be our stem for the flower and that's it we're gonna add I was thinking of adding uh, this so I will think about that that is something simple we can do we don't need a sketch for that and that is a flower done so later on we will be adding when doing it on our watercolor paper and with ink we will be doing some details so we can move on and trace that sketch to our watercolor paper and first thing I'm gonna do I will just scribble on the back like that of my sketch just make sure you covered the entire sketch like that so like that if you don't have a tracing paper if you have a tracing paper you can use tracing paper use your watercolor paper and place it wherever you want onto your watercolor paper and I will now trace that onto my watercolor paper don't press it too hard you just want it to be slightly visible so I'm gonna trace that and that's quite simple I believe that every beginner if you're a beginner every beginner has a uh, 
some pen some regular paper and also a pencil so that's something that you can do on just basically any paper so like that and going downwards and even if you don't have a tracing paper you can definitely do this one so that's it and just the stem I, I really can't <laughs> I didn't put the I didn't scribble there so I will just do it using this pen this pencil so that is it now we have traced our sketch I will just use a kneaded eraser to pick up the excess graphite here because I don't want actually my graphite to move around my paper so when I start to paint like that so first thing we're gonna do we're not gonna paint the first thing we're gonna do is do our sketch so uh, do our ink so you do need a waterproof uh, ink pen for that and if you don't have a waterproof ink pen first do the part when uh, painting and then later on add your uh, add your ink on top and I will start with this 05 it is a larger one and for that one I do want a larger or thicker lines for the petals but thinner ones for the shading inside of them and I will start also again with the center and for the center as you can see I'm not really drawing one straight line but I'm just doing those sketchy lines well I guess that is how I like to do my inking to look sketchy but if that's not what you like if you like it better when you have one straight line that's something that you could definitely do and should do you should do it the way you like it so just do it sketchy as I do some parts aren't sketchy some parts are also one line but some parts are done as sketch like that and then this curve so we're gonna do that shape a couple of times sketching it then tracing it onto our watercolor paper and then at the end doing the inking so you will repeat it and I'm sure you will get the hang of that also the stem for the stem I'm gonna do again broken sketchy line couple of them to make that stem a little bit thicker so it is going here this is our center and I will do a couple of uh, dots for the shading on the lower part and on left side of my center of the flower I will be adding a little bit more with the thinner pen but for now this is one with a thicker pen and I'm just thinking whether I should add that or not and I don't really think I do need that here I, I'm, I'm not gonna add if you want you can add that uh, grass or foliage here I won't be doing that I, I like it as the way it is when we add watercolors on top it will be just enough so next thing is I'm gonna use this uh, thinner ink pen to do the ink to do the details and when you do the details when you do those lines you know, veins for the flowers don't do them uh, going from the top of the vein downwards to the center but just use your uh, ink pen and flick like that just flick and you will maybe get a little bit broken line and a little bit even a thinner line so I do believe that looks a little bit nicer and when you do it from here it just starts when you put press your ink pen on the paper you're gonna do a thicker line definitely here maybe some dot and that's not what we want we do want it to look you know fairly light so and top we do want it to be a little bit you know broken and not so perfect and just uh, 
turn your paper around when you go around and also with those lines just try to follow the shape of your petal you know don't do them going on this side or straight if the petal is curved just follow the shape of the petal also a couple of more here on top same thing going from the upper line outer line to the inside also i will add a couple of more hairs here like that and we're gonna do on this petal also like that this one this one has couple going on curves going on the left and couple curves going on the right and also for the last one you can do the couple of lines a little bit thicker but up shorter and couple a little bit longer and on top like that and here on the very top of that folded part couple of and on the lower part of the fold fold just again keep in mind that you follow the shape i will do a couple here on these creases very very light ones i'm not even sure if you can see them on camera i will bring it slightly closer to you when I finish with that so I think I'm done and I'm just gonna add a couple of more dots smaller ones with this smaller pen onto the center and just go around like that and I will leave one part of the center without the dots and also I'm just doing the some a little bit more shading on those parts of the edges of my center like that so that's it i'm gonna bring it closer to you so if you could not see it you can see it right now There you go. You can see all of the lines that I did for the shading. So now we are done with all of that and we can move on to the second phase doing the uh, doing the watercolors and watercolors are going to be very very simple. I will just pick up a water with my brush and then wet it. like that where my flower is and my ink is not completely dry so it is smudging on some parts but I don't mind that not really so that's it I've prevented just around the flower you can prevent the entire paper but if you have a single sheet it could warp and it's not necessary for you to uh, to wet the entire paper and I will pick up that little pretty pink from etcher watercolors and i will be adding my watercolor this is something like um i think it's somewhat uh, a brown maybe something like a burnt sienna and i'm gonna use a lot of water and just from top going upwards not on these petals just on those that are upwards and then pick up some clear clean water I do still have some uh, paint in my brush you can also if you are doing what I'm doing you can cover that I'm gonna cover it the other sheet so I don't get my and here we will do just a couple of splatters like that 
just a couple of splatters. And now I will, I will pick up just a little bit of the yellow. Put it here and I'm gonna add it just a couple of tops, top ends of that yellow to the central part. And since the paint is still wet, it will spread slightly outside, that is fine. A little bit more of the splatters with that yellow and a couple of more down. Don't do it, don't go overboard with the splatters. We don't want a lot of those. Not here. And one more thing I'm gonna do, I will pick up, I have this dark brown in the set from Etcher and I will just put some dark brown straight from the palette here on the lower part of my, where I did the most shading for my center. I will just top in here some dark brown like that. So this card is done. We are done. Not going to do anything more except, as I said, adding the text and we can move on to the second card. So this is going to be my second sketch. And for that one, I will do, I will uh, draw a little bit larger flowers. This I'm not sure if I'm going to do probably again, not. And for this one, we're starting, we're starting again with somewhat an, somewhat an ellipse. I will do a little bit larger ellipse than this one here. So like that, this one is tilted on the left, on the right and do just beneath it, follow that curve going downwards is a triangle like that one triangle and then find the center of your ellipse and then just a little bit under the center, one third under the center, start with the lower flowers and I'm just looking for the, this will be the line, right? That connects those two. And I'm going to do my first petal going right from that line and downwards into this. This is where the petals meet. The second one going same, somewhat the same thing, but on the other side like this. I will just take, I'm not sure, oh, you can see that, but this one is a little bit darker. So going from the edge of this one and then up to th my ellipse here, this petal goes and follows the shape of my triangle. Same thing again on the other side, slight curve going upwards and downwards like that. So this is going to be the fourth petal and then gonna do the one going here and now we do want to know where the center of our flower is and the center is right here so we will place the center right here and all those lines for our petals are gonna need to finish here but we won't draw in the entire line because we don't want them to be you you can actually draw them because this is just a sketch but i won't be doing that i'm just gonna look to finish it off when I add it like this. So this is going to be the first one. Second one, again, following that shape of my, the curve of my ellipse going downwards and finishing in that line. Then the next one and just do, so this one also finishing there. We have one more finishing there and the last one. If that makes it easier for you or you think uh, you're not sure if you will have enough uh, space for each, when you finish them, you can just maybe divide you, that upper part, that upper ellipse into one, two, three, four, five petals. So just uh, do the dots where your petals are going to when you draw this line where your petals is, are going to go and that is how you will divide it into four five parts and you won't be in a risk that later on when you start uh, drawing your petals 
you don't have the space for the last one. So this is that one and I'm gonna again do like that stem for that one and this one is going to be a little bit open and I will draw that one going just above this one and for that one we're going to do this one is also going to be an elliptic shape but a little bit more pressed so something like that so do the ellipse pressed like that and start I'm gonna start with this petal so my petals are gonna go from the this is the middle between those two just the middle like that and this one is gonna go from that part from that dot again all of them are gonna go from that dot I'm gonna go on the right just do a slight curve to make it a little bit more interesting and put it down here in the center you can make it you can make this one a little bit smaller this one a little bit larger uh, don't make them just both going directly from the center you don't have to do that I will do this one a little bit uh, thicker so like that going downwards but you can draw the entire one but we will do this petal just above that one first I will do the right petal slightly curved and then like that this has a slight curve here and this one as I said is gonna go just above that one like that curve and then again slight curve here and we have half a circle here here for the central part and I'm gonna do my stem for that one so this one is gonna cross with the previous one like that and if you do want that you can add maybe a couple of leaves like that and that's it I won't be tracing those into my onto my watercolor paper I will draw that later on with my uh, ink pen I just wanted to show you what you can add here so now before tracing I do again need to do the scribbling onto the back so scribble 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 onto the back like that like that and I'm gonna trace that now my petals you don't need to trace the lines that are not gonna be visible at the end I'm sorry there's something going on my street some big I'm not sure what that is so it or maybe you can't even hear that so like that and this one goes here and then adding the stem well of course this one won't be visible because I didn't scribble there and now moving on to the second flower and this one petal goes like this And that's it there you go now I will do the stems for both of them like that and again use my I need an eraser to pick up that excess graphite which I don't want to move all over my paper when I start to add watercolors and first thing again is going to be the inking and this time again using 05 this one and it has this petal again I'm not doing one just one straight line but I'm just doing those broken lines sketchy lines like this so some shading here like that then and you can even wiggle 
your lines here and there to make it a little bit less straight, a little bit more wiggly. Just be careful to finish all of your petals in the same place to, you know, make it believable. That's this one. Also, I will do the stem for that one. Like that, I can do the stem for this one straight away. Like this. And now let's do the second flower. Same way. I do believe this is a little bit more lesson in sketching flowers, drawing flowers, doodling flowers than in watercolors, watercolors are quite simple, but you know, that's the elegance of this. So now I will use 0 0.1 to add a little bit more of the details. Again, flicking my brush for some details, petals. I'm not going to do too much of those following the shape like that. Just flicking with my brush, a couple of here. And these ones are gonna be quite short. So you can do also a couple of ones here upwards. Just a couple, not too much. Don't go overboard with that, with inking like that. This one can be a little bit longer those are on top and maybe some here like that so this is the first one done moving on to the second one a couple of dots and again some shading here Fairly light. Following the curve of our flowers and I will do a couple on top also. Again, starting from the edge, going downwards like that. So I'm done with this one also. I will just show you. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I will show you what I did. See how very, very thin those lines are. So that's the second one done. And we can add a little bit more colors here on this one. And for that one, I will be using, you can use basically any colors you like, you know, you don't have to use the same colors as I did. I will again prevent that just around my flowers. I do have some pink in my, in my brush. And this time I'm not doing one splotch, but I'm just tapping in with my brush where the petals are and also just adding some clean water here and there and now for that one i think i will be using to paint those i think i will be using a violet and to the mix i did earlier i will add that violet i have like this this one so something like a violet and again i'm gonna do some top ends here and there inside this flower like this. It will bleed also here, but that's that's fine. Like that, add some water and then do a couple of sprinkles. Also here on this one, I will cover the first one. I don't want those sprinkles to go there. So like this. 
and try to keep most of your splatters in our upper part. So also I will be picking up that dark brown and add it just here, right there, and it will spread again, that's fine, those are watercolors, and I will also add it on the lower part of this flower, like this, so I have a lot of water here, so it just won't stick, I will pick up just a little bit of the water, like that, and then put some brown and if that's what you would like and want you can pick up a little bit more of the brown I will use now a smaller brush and just add a couple of splatters with that brown and this is the second one done and I do believe this one is completely dry and you can see a slight difference when we were privetting all of that and just adding color on top and this one when where we were just topping in some some water here and there it's not all over the flowers and it just doesn't leave these edges so this will dry slightly different and it will look very beautiful when it dries also so i will pick up just to avoid those edges here and now we can this one is also done and now we can do some uh, we can do the text here and there when it's all completely dry so I will dry that and I will come back and now this is completely dry at the end when it did dry I have to say I do like this one a little bit better and this one just lost all of his details while it was drying because it was too wet and all of my splatters mixed in together so I decided to add a little bit more of the details to this one I'm gonna mix again that pretty pink with my I guess something like a burnt sienna as I said and I will do a couple of splatters on this one just to add somewhat more details to my painting because as I said when it was drying it just lost all of the details here in the part where the flower is and I do want a little bit more of the details there so like that just a couple of more splatters around the flower and I will pick up just a little bit of dark brown I have it here and just add it above the center slightly to make that part just again slightly darker and that's it nothing more to this one I will definitely do nothing more and just a couple of splatters on the second one some smaller ones and that's it my cards are done I've cut them into two cards and you can of course place them onto a folded paper just use maybe a little bit thicker uh, printing paper fold it and place your cards on top you can write your text here maybe on one side maybe going over the stem also same thing here you can add here uh, maybe some leaves but I, I like it how everything is in upper part and here you can write text so I won't be adding any leaves with my ink pen and now we are done I hope you enjoyed this one you did like it it was a real time you you were telling me how you like real time so I should do one and and there you go you have a real-time video and guys thank you so much for watching for all your support for um, well being here for me and being here watching my tutorials and thank you for your, all of your nice comments that you're saying that you love them that you're learning a lot believe me that means a lot to me and if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel and maybe consider even joining my channel and well i guess that that is all thank you again for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye